But yeah, again, this is probably did my PVR's fault because I'm having a lot of bad memories of this game, and mostly because it's my PVR. It's just crashing all the time, so uh, my opinion might be a bit soiled here by the PVR. And I had a lot of crashes with this uh, part already. Jesus. Uh, but I think if you're interested in doing detective work and you want to feel like a detective, then this is not exactly a bad choice. There's plenty of adventure games, old adventure games you could play to feel like a detective, but this game sort of reminds me of those old adventure games, point and click games like uh, Broken Sword and such, which I love Broken Sword. Uh, but. But yeah, I just think near. Yeah, I think mostly to the last act of the game, it's just, it just kind of went downhill, and wasn't really much that much detective work as I like, you know, from the other parts of the of the game I was playing. It felt more like action shooty, like oh we gotta shoot everything, bang bang bang, and all that. And I don't think it really led to a satisfying conclusion. Don't know why you would pick up the flamethrower though. The flamethrower is shit. People are too far away to use that bloody thing. But anyway, the company who made this game is closed down, so <laughs> you won't be seeing them making another LA Noir. Or Noir. Some people call it Noir or Noir. I like to call it Noir. But anyway. Even though I started crap on this Let's Play, I did got better at the end. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you for my next Let's Play. I'll see you in my next Let's Play. Bye! Baby, you know I'm guilty. Cops, judge, and jury, they all agree. If love's the crime, I'm doing time And I don't look like I'll ever get free Yeah, baby, you know I'm guilty Baby, you know I'm guilty While you're my client, I'll be your bonnie I could pretend I'll be good again but while loving you's the charge I'll never be Cause baby, you know I'm guilty
And now my heart's a blazing ruin. You say that you were only fooling. Don't walk away. Don't do me wrong. Don't leave me singing this torched song. Struck the sparks. You fire the flames in me. And now my heart's a blazing ruin. You say that. about this for a headline. Guess which former Sixth Marine hero has been promoted in the LAPD? No idea. Well, it could be anybody. You give up? Tell us or hand over the fucking paper. The Shadow Boys, our very own Silver Star winning son of a bitch. Phelps, you didn't die, Jack. He did just fine, and that's all we're going to say about it, right? The one and only. Look at this picture. Golden boy getting his badge, wife and kids in tow, and looking awful humble in the process. Well, he's that phony bastard. I wonder if they've been holding my job for me after all this time. What job was that? Mechanic. Ain't you seen all the war bond movies, Sarge? All the best mechanics is women. You're gonna have to work as a gigolo from here on in. <laughs> I was a bus driver in Santa Cruz. No, no pictures in the papers or medals for me, though. I can't believe I just went through Petaloo and Okinawa just to go back to being a washing machine mechanic. How is it that jerks like Phelps get it all? It doesn't have to be that way, guys. What are you talking about? It's always going to be that way. Do you have any idea what you guys are sitting on? Yeah, a ship full of army surplus. You're sitting on surplus morphine. Two tons of it. Can you imagine what that's worth on the streets? Hundreds of thousands of dollars. You're shitting me. I'm not. You're talking about stealing it? Keep your voice down. Do you want to have us all thrown in the brig? God damn it, Sheldon. You want to go into the dope business? No. I want to be in the peace dividend business. What is that supposed to mean? It means I want the guys who fought for a better future to get some share of it. You interested, Jack? Come on, Top. We could all get out from under. Oh, it's the chance of our lives. It's everyone or no one, boys. I'm not having a bar of it, Courtney. You may be the bravest person I have ever met, but I swear to God, trouble follows you around like a pet fucking dog. I thought you wanted to try for medical school. So what do you want, Jack? What's the future got in store for you? You guys were all heroes in the war. Every single one of you. 
Even if your next door neighbor or your wife never know it and don't give a rat's ass. Fuck belts and medals and citations and parades. Fuck the public who are bored with returning GIs. I have nothing but respect for what you guys and the rest of the six have done. You go through with this, and you'll be nothing to me.